Hello friends, it's me, the Geek Von Doom, and today we're going to be looking at a mod for Ark Survival Evolved called Conquer the Seas. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever wanted to conquer the oceans in Ark? Well, this, well, this mod will help you do it. For instance, we have many, a, a cornucopia of different, of different boats available in this mod. There we are. And these aren't all of them. I'm going to be looking at these and the rest of these during this mod. Joining me today is Dark Avatar 69 as usual. Say hello. Hello. Excellent. All right. So the first one we're going to be doing here is called the Floating Platform. Um, it's a part of this mod that I don't have any information on. So Dark, take it away. Tell me something about it without spoiling it. Uh, it's essentially a platform you can put in the water so that you can build a non-mobile base out in the middle of the ocean without any uh, issues from the surrounding sea life uh, programmed into the game. Oh, interesting. All right, then. Let's give this a shot. I'm going to put it at the end of this dock. Yep. Okay. And inventory. And then right-click. And place. Whoa. That's huge. I like it already. All right, let's go check it out. <laughs> Got a nice big entry ramp here. Does it have a hit total? No, it is just flat out a platform. Nice. I'll come back the to way. this when the sun rises. We got a, a little bit better light. But yeah, this thing is huge. I love it. You're going to want to get an aerial view of it to totally comprehend the size for this. Yeah, that's a good idea. But dive off one of the edges by the ramp and look underneath it. Okay. Whoa. Oh, that's right? cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> It's a realistic, uh, what would these be called? Pontoon action. All right, so next up on the list, uh, what do you suggest, Dark? I suggest a galleon. A galleon, all right. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's cool. Ah! Fell in the water. But now I get to see it from underneath. Not quite as big as I would have imagined. Got some instructions here. Let's see here. Uh, da, da, da. All right. Uh, the mini map's kind of messed up on this. It looks like, but other than that, it seems to be okay. I think their mini maps are their biggest issue. Yeah. Good speed, that's for sure. Now I, I can't help but notice. Are those cannons that I'm seeing? No, they're not. Um, so as it turns out, there are no cannons on this on this boat or ship. I don't know if it could be a ship as I walk through the wall. All right then. Hey, but that's cool. A little quick exiting. Um, but on this guy right there, the battle galleon, there are weapons. So let's go check that out. We're going to use this galleon as target practice. How about each other? Okay, is there another battle galleon? Yep. Yar. Uh, In that case, it's going to be hot pirate on pirate action. That sounds, um, no. <laughs> Let's see here, access inventory. It does have an inventory access on this one, so that's good. Let's put the cannonballs into the thing, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, yes, thank you. I have read this. What do so we use to shoot? Because I missed that part. Uh, I didn't actually see. Uh, but you click on the right mouse button. Uh, left mouse button. All right, so. Uh -oh. Left and right and uh, spaces, uh, the forward shoot. 
space no, is not doing it. I'm wrong. I think you just... Oh, well. That's fine. This will work just fine because uh, now that the test is over, let the battle commence! So how's your health looking up at the top right corner? Um, full. How about you? Yeah, me too. So apparently this is used for taking down dinos. All right, so I couldn't find a Bronto on this island, so we're gonna go over here to these two Triceratopses, and we're gonna blow them to smithereens because that sounds like a lot of fun. You get lined up. Oh. One shot, two kills, and there goes a Stego. Yep, I killed the Stego. Nice. Yeah, this is this is good. I feel like if we weren't tribed, we would be able to do damage to each other. But since we are, you know, it's not going to be able to actually do anything. And, uh, yeah. But this would be a good, like, assault vehicle for a coastal base as well. Let's see what else this mod has has in store for us here. I'm gonna park you right here, kind of off to the side of everything. And yeah. So next up, we're gonna go from warfare to something a little bit more functional. Then we're gonna go to the primitive fishing boat, which is available on this mod as well. That's this guy right here. Let's see if it gives me instructions. It does not, but I can press Alt I. No. Control I. Shift I. You have to place one. Yeah, but it says it can be opened back up at any time by pressing Alt-I, but apparently it is not. This was, this is right after an update, and, uh, you know, the, the update for Ark might have thrown off a few a few items. There is uh, not one in there. Do I, you I, need I, a new I, one? I have one. I have one. Um, okay. Dark, uh, these, uh, these planks for the pier um, and this lighthouse, these are part of this mod too, right? Yes, the the actual rope uh, fence is part of the mod. The the pier itself has a neat feature where if you place a pier down to a connecting block like the metal platform, or if you place it where it can connect to the ground itself, you can actually extend the pier out as far as you need without it actually having to touch the ground, as if you would ceiling tiles with preset foundation underneath them. It's really neat. Yeah. So you were able to make this, uh, if you look underneath the dock, like swim underneath, you can see the dock actually doesn't touch the ground way out there over the deepest part of the ocean. Mm -hmm. And yet it's still considered a platform. Oh, well, that's cool. That's some smart coding is what that is. All right, so now that I've got one of these guys, we're gonna go ahead and place it in the water here. Shaboom! It is the primitive fishing boat. All right, so the primitive fishing boat steers just like a regular boat. You use your mouse to steer, AWSD for movement. The minimap is screwed up again. Um, but it has a special feature called fishing mode. You press R by default to enter fishing mode in which you move slowly or more slowly than you normally would and give it a sec here all right so as you can see off to the left hand side and we do have the uh the uh harvest rate turned up a bit for this server um it picks up random items not necessarily random items but so far I've seen black pearls, um, crystal, fish, meat. There's some silica pearls. And yeah, there we go. So fishing mode is a great way to farm up mats at random 
And we'll be discussing what just flew by my screen here next, I guess. <coughs> so next up is the inflatable speedboat, kind of modeled after the Zodiac inflatable that the military uses kind of looks like. So that's kind of cool. And uh, uh, if you didn't see from earlier, this thing moves hella fast. So we're gonna go check it out right now. It takes gasoline, not the diesel that this mod also comes with. All right, so let's try, try this thing. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a Bronto. That Bronto needs to die. It needs to be exploded, I feel. This is really freaking quick. Like, I'm gonna go around this island here. Oh god, oh god! I'm gonna go above this island here. All right, and I'm flying. And also it's not an island. I could only tell that from air, apparently. Okay, so... This thing drifts like a son of a bitch, that's for sure. Oh god, this is... Can it shift? Can you press shift and go faster? No, okay. Why would you want to? <laughs> oh. Holy crap! Ah, sudden stop. You just flew by me. Okay, watch this. Can you see me? Uh, no. I am by the green boat. Come okay. over here. Yeah, 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 I got you. There you go, there you go, there you go, watch. Nice, I have to try this. Okay, that's cool. This is probably my, my favorite thing. Like, there are no weapons, no cannons, no destructive power at all, but this thing, it has all of my love. So next up, what should we do next? What do you think? Jet ski. Jet ski. I'm assuming it's going to be just a smaller version of uh, what we just experienced. All right, let's try this guy out. There we go. Oh, crap. Ah, it's going to make me crash into shit while I'm looking at this. Okay, um, nope, okay. And I'm stuck. So something to note. <laughs> The information for these vehicles don't actually pop up until you are on the vehicle and you have pressed a button, apparently. My default button is forward, so it decided that it would go until the information pane uh, wore off. That being said, uh, we now have a land ski, or land do. And it's being stepped on. Uh, now it is a trike. No, a stego do. <laughs> okay. Hey, and okay. look, there's some more stego do. So moving uh, on to the next one. All right, so next up we have the actual fishing boat. This was the primitive fishing boat. This one is the Artopia, also known as the regular fishing boat. It has the number 42 painted on the side, and it's green guy green. There is. Um, obviously no relation at all to anything, any kind of reference from uh, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. Um, so, moving right along, there's the instruction pane, we're going to clear out of that. The fishing boat works just like the primitive fishing boat, however, it works a little bit better, more efficiently. So I'm going to go ahead and activate fishing mode by pressing R. We're gonna keep an eye on the left-hand side of the screen. Codfish and angler gel. Seems to be picking up at a fast, like maybe not more at a time, but at a faster rate, perhaps? Uh, I think it has the ability to pick up stuff that you can't pick up in the other boat. I, I can't be for sure, though. I couldn't find much of a difference other than the fact that that one takes diesel, and in its travel mode, it's like 300 times faster. Oh, yeah, it certainly is. Eh, eh, eh. Zigzag smoke. There it is. Mackerel on angler gel. All right, so we're going to leave that one at that. And I am stuck inside of this boat. Excellent. There we are. Get on and drive. 
We Yay! Two people jet ski wow. airborne. Wait, no, I'm in the air. Stop. Ah, I'm dead. Oh, crap. Did you make a bed? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so due to I'm a little little error uh, miscalculation on everybody's part, Although two people can ride on a jet ski uh, by one standing on it, the other one flies off whenever it takes takes air and Dark Avatar has died. So, Dark, where are you at? And I'll come get you. Um, South Zone 3. South Zone 3. There. All right, I'll meet you there. This guy is the airship. And this is one I've been waiting to do for quite some time. That one is pre-prepped out with everything. I noticed. I'm glad. All right, so okay, it's space to launch and space to to land, kind of deal. Uh, Shift so to move fast. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, it's rocket powered. Wow. Okay. Take a left. Take a left. Okay, you're you're almost headed dead at me. Good. You'll want to land soon. At the land. What is it? Not landing. You're passing me. You're going I'm away from me. I'm trying to land. Music. It's not landing. Look down. Okay. Hello, friends. It's me, the Geek Von Doom, and unfortunately, I had to cut this episode in half. But you're going to be able to see the rest of this episode by clicking on the link right there. So feel free to click that link, feel free to hit that subscribe button, and make sure to leave a like and a comment. And we'll see you on the next episode of Von Doom Gaming.